Olivia's Tower, the building power of cells. Olivia loved building towers. She used every block she had to build a tower taller than her head. Impressive, Olivia's mom said. Everything around us is built like blocks in a tower. Everything? Olivia wondered. She looked out the window. No blocks. She looked at her house. There were bricks, but no blocks. She looked at the playground. No blocks. Olivia knew her mom was trying to teach her something, but what was it? Olivia's mom is a scientist, and she understood the world in a detailed way. Maybe if Olivia thought like a scientist, she would know why her mom said everything is built like blocks in a tower. Olivia remembered going with her mom to the laboratory. She loved watching the scientists work. They all wore white coats. They worked with cool things called microscopes, petri dishes, beakers, scales, flasks, and graduated cylinders. Flasks, glass containers that hold laboratory liquids. Their shape helps to keep the liquid from spilling. Scales, used for determining the weight or mass of a sample. Test tube, a thin glass tube closed at one end, used to hold small amounts of material for laboratory testing or experiments. Beakers, a lipped cylindrical glass container for laboratory use. Microscope, an optical instrument used for viewing very small objects, such as mineral samples or animal or plant cells, typically magnified several hundred times. Petri dish, a shallow, circular, transparent dish with a flat lid used for the culture of microorganisms. Ooh. Olivia's mom told her to be very careful around the Bunsen burners because of their hot, open flame. Olivia thought the science lab was a magical universe. The scientists asked a question. They used their tools to do experiments. Then they found answers to their questions. Sometimes the experiment didn't work like they expected. Thank you. 
When this happened, they still gathered information that they used for their next experiment. Then they started all over again, after they cleaned all of their tools. One time, Olivia's mom asked her to help with an experiment involving plants. Olivia's mom was growing plants and looking at them under the microscope. Oh. Olivia loved to look in the microscope. A small piece of a plant looked completely different under the lens. Olivia could see the individual cells of the plant. They looked like blocks. Olivia's mom told her there were different types of cells that make up all plants and animals. Inside each cell, there were individual parts that each had a job. The nucleus is like the brain of the cell. It stores and protects a special strand of codes called DNA, which gives a plan to the rest of the cell. Nucleus, mitochondrion, ribosomes, Golgi complex. Olivia remembered that the ribosomes in a cell were like construction workers because they link amino acids together to make proteins. Another funny name Olivia remembered was the Golgi apparatus. Its job is kind of like a post office because it packages and transports proteins and other molecules out of the cell. The Golgi apparatus sends things to the places they need to be. The energy they need to do this work is made in the mitochondria. Mitochondria are the powerhouses of the cell. It was fun for Olivia to think about how a little piece of a plant could show her a brain, a post office, construction workers, and powerhouses. Wait a minute. Olivia said. Everything around us is built like blocks in a tower. The cells are the blocks! And when you put a lot of those cells together, you can build anything! Plants, animals, even people! Olivia imagined her blocks being like a cell. Each one would fit in a certain way until it created exactly what it was meant to be. Instead of building a tower, she used a group of blocks to make a dog. With a big pile of blocks, she made a whale. Then with another group of blocks, she made a flower. Oh. Mom! Olivia said, pointing to her creations. Everything is built like blocks in a tower!
If you don't have books, what are you waiting for? It's a kid-safe, ad-free library full of so many storybooks that are brought to life. Ask your grown-up and start exploring more fun stories like these. You have to go and ask for books. Enjoy the specialties of this app right here. Go on. Come on. Go off. <laughs> Thanks for watching. For more stories, try the Books app for free today.